Hi, I'm Will, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do drop sets for strength and bigger muscles here on the Geezer Guide to Better Living. At the age that I am now, I have only one goal when I go to the gym, and that's to be healthy. If looking good is part of that goal, I'm for it. My days of being the strongest man in the gym, or even being the most built man in the gym, are far behind me, but I still like to look good for myself. And one way is to build strong muscles. And doing drop sets will help you with that. Drop sets are used to build stubborn parts of your body. You can use it on almost every body part. I use it on my chest because that's one of my most stubborn body parts. Drop sets push your muscle to total failure. The fatigue helps your muscle to grow, so you have to rest in between workouts before you try doing it again. If you worked out a body part during drop sets, you should wait at least three days before you work out on that body part again. You want to make sure that that body part gets a chance to recuperate from you fatiguing it doing drop sets. I prefer doing drop sets on the machines other than free weights because free weights you have to re-rack, you have to fight other people in the gym for weight and when you work on a machine you have the machine all to yourself. To start off doing drop sets, you, know, you need to know what your max weight is. For the sake of this video, we're going to say my max weight is 120. Alright, so we're going to end there. You're going to do 4 steps plus your warm up weight to 120, which means I'm going to start off with my warm up set at 60. Then I'm going to add on 20 pounds to be 80, then 100. And then my max set will be 120. I will not do no more than 10 reps per set. This means I will be doing a decline in reps as the weight go up. I will do a warm up set and do at least 15. But when I get to the higher weight at 80, I will only do 10 reps. Then at 100, I will only do eight reps. And then at 120, I will do six reps with a minute break in between. Once that minute break is over, I will do a decline in weight. I will do higher reps and I'll decline. I'll take the 120 and I will divide it in half. And then I will add 10 to it. So that's going to be 70 pounds. So I will start off at 70. At 70, I will increase my reps since I'm decreasing my weight. I will do 12 reps with a 15 minute break before I move on to the 50. And then at 50, I will do 15 reps and decrease from 70 to 50 and take a 15 minute break. Once I'm finished with 50, I will go to 30 and I will wrap it out as far as I can take it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it's easier to do these types of exercises on machines than free weights because free weights, you don't have to worry about re riking You don't worry about there not being any weight because people are taking up too much of the weight. You can just have this machine to yourself and you can burn your muscle properly. And this is how you can tell that you did the weight properly. Look at those eyes. I am in pain. Anyway, 
hope that you try this out. If you have any comments or questions, just hit me down below. And as always, this is Will with the Geezer Guide, and I thank you. Hey, be sure to check out my two art websites. One is buildthebarber.pixels.com, and the other one is geezerart at Redbubble. I have a lot of good apparel and art.